I just came home. I went to a large bookstore called Maruzen, and it's probably one of the biggest bookstores in Tokyo. I'm really interested in reading about art and paintings, so I decided to get these three. Kuwaii. In English, it means scary paintings, and they are a series that I've always wanted to read. And I actually went to one of the exhibitions that was held in Ueno like a couple years ago about one of these books and uh, the paintings that are described in these books. It's not like I have that much knowledge. And so to just kickstart to learn more about art and about these paintings, they don't seem scary, but they all have like this really dark story behind it. And that really intrigues me. This is a series by Kyoko Nakano. I'm 
gonna give these a try. I also received um, probably a PR package. I think it is. So I'm just gonna open it. Um, oh yeah. A brand named Topology reached out to me by DM and they said that they would send me one of their bags and I decided to go with this kind of mint color, no it's moss colored, moss colored draw to. it's actually bigger than I thought, yeah it's quite big, you're not able to change its shape, it becomes into this compact pouch. I need to take photos with it and post them on Insta. Yeah, that's on my to-do list for now. Well, I'm also planning to post another PR post with Haika. It's like a beauty, Japanese beauty brand. Another Thai beauty brand reached out to me and they might send me one of their face powders, so I'm excited for that. Um, so this year I really want to get like more paid collabs and so that's kind of like one of my first goals to achieve. I feel very proud for these brands to be reaching out to me. It's actually really cool, especially if it's a brand that you really love. So, and you had your eyes on. So, yeah, life's good. I need to start uploading more videos. That is a lot of hard work, but I hope it pays off someday. That's about it for now. I'll see you guys later. This is my afternoon break setup. I cleaned, I vacuumed, I took pictures to post on Instagram. I also unboxed a few of the things that had been delivered. I'm all done with that, so I'm currently having these chocolates that I got for Valentine's Day. This one is like um, a Sakura cherry blossom themed Japanese sweets. I'm just gonna listen to some music, maybe watch a little bit of Netflix before I start editing another vlog. But yeah, this is what my coffee time suite is looking like. I'm just gonna enjoy my afternoon and work some more. I'm back with the stuff that I got from Museum of Peace and Quiet. Um, first of all, I've already worn this, but... Uh, this is like a half zip sweater. There's this cozy material inside. It's really soft and it's super warm. And you can pull the zipper up or you can either like have it open and wear something like inside. I initially wanted to have it in a size extra small, but this is a small and it's quite big on me. So, I mean, it's... I need to like sort of wear it oversized, but that's okay because I like it anyways. Another sweater that I got are these. They're like a khaki. This is like a dark green khaki colored sweater. This is also um, a long sleeve sweater. I haven't worn this yet and I'm super excited to wear it. Also, I got this, this cap says peace and quiet. I'm sure it's gonna have plenty of wear. I didn't order this, but they sent me a candle with the other items. See, it says Museum of Peace and Quiet on here too. It's just like a simple white, very clean. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It says handcrafted in New York City by Joya. It smells like a very clean, like, flowery scent, like a linen flowery scent. I would probably, like, put it in the bathroom or, yeah, just in the living room. I want to burn it, but I don't want to, you know? So anyways, yeah, I was very happy about the candle that came with the other products that I ordered. Um, so that's, like, a mini 
many, very many haul. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.